Ability Center's Midday Yoga Desk Movement. Hi everyone, my name is Tracy. With me today is Allison. We are going to be doing a Midday Yoga Desk Movement, um, which you can do also in your bed, on the floor, in front of the TV, anywhere. We are all at home now, so we tend to be at our computers a lot, sitting at our desk, so it's sometimes good to just get a little movement in, even if it's for a few minutes. Um, so we're gonna be seated, and we're gonna start with some a um, little bit of a warm up, you know, you can do any time. And then we're gonna go into a few little poses and then we're gonna wind down. So wherever you're at, just make sure you have some space um, and a chair. And if you're on your chair, which we're gonna be on our chair today, make sure that you're secure and sitting on the edge of your our seat. If you're in a wheelchair, make sure that your wheels are locked and just really sit straight the whole time. Try and just keep your spine straight, crown of your head toward the ceiling. Um, just take some deep breaths as we go and let's get started. So we're just gonna start with some nice shoulder rolls. Allison's just gonna follow along in her chair. And we're just gonna roll our shoulders back. And you can even just start with this while you're even watching TV or on your computer and then take a little break while you do the movement. Just roll and make sure you're really breathing. Your belly button is toward your spine. Spine is super straight. Okay, Allison, we're gonna go the other way. And just focus on your breath and just relax. Okay, keep going a few more here. Okay, and we're gonna come back to center and we're just gonna look shoulders side to side. So we're gonna look one way and the other way. This is a nice stretch for your neck, especially when you're staring at a computer screen all day. Just do a couple more this way. Focus on that breath. One more each side. And then we're gonna come back to center and we're just gonna do chin down to our chest. So we're just gonna do gentle and up. Okay, great job. Down, Allison, you good? Awesome. Okay, let's do two more. Last one down and up. So these are options too. You don't have to take the deep breaths, but we're gonna start with a nice deep breath. So our arms are gonna to come to our side and we're gonna inhale all the way up. And then we're gonna exhale all the way down. Let's do one more of these, okay? And we're gonna go all the way up and all the way down. Okay, so our first movement's gonna be a cat-cow, which is curling our shoulders down and then bringing our chest open, okay? So we're gonna start very straight spine, shoulders are up and back, and then we're gonna curl. So we're gonna curl down, look toward the ground, and then we're gonna inhale and we're gonna look straight ahead, okay? We're gonna do four of these. Forward, just give your lower back a nice stretch, your neck. Breathing in and down. And up, inhale, awesome. Let's do one more. Inhaling up. Okay, and our next movement now is gonna be an easy twist. So wherever you are in your chair, floor, we're going to sit straight, we're gonna take one of our hands onto our knee, it doesn't matter which one. Our opposite hand is gonna go behind us, so you can either have it on your chair or grabbing onto the back of your chair or on the side of your chair, sitting straight and just a gentle twist. Making sure you're secure and just looking over your shoulder without any discomfort or just closing down your eyes for a moment. And just take four big inhales here. Just taking a moment for yourself. Okay, let's take three more. Last big inhale. Great job. Now we're gonna switch sides. So same thing on the opposite side. Spine is really straight. Your belly's in toward your back. And we're gonna twist. And we're gonna breathe. Three more big breaths. Two more. Last big inhale. We're gonna come back to center. Okay, and back to center, great job. Now we're gonna make sure we're still seated straight on our chair. We're gonna reach up one arm and we're just gonna slowly reach to the side. Same thing, your hand could be on your lap or on the side of your chair. And if you're in an armchair, 
at your desk, you can just lean on your armchair. As long as you're feeling that nice side stretch and you can look toward the side, you can look down or you can look up, wherever is comfortable for your neck. Just staying here, we'll take four breaths. And any of the movements we're doing today, you can do it at any time, you can do them in any order. This is a guide for you. If you feel that you really need a break while you're at your computer, you can do them any time. Three more. Two more. Last one. We're gonna come to the other side. Okay, reaching up. And then we're gonna lean over. Awesome job. Three more. Wherever your neck is comfortable, two more. Allison's looking good in her chair. Last one, bring your arm down. And then just straighten out your legs a little bit. Just give your knees a little bit of a massage. Just roll them out. It's always good to stretch your legs out when you're in a chair. And then we're gonna sit straight and we're just gonna do some very gentle neck rolls. So we're just gonna drop our head down and we're just gonna roll, close your eyes down and just roll. Straight spine, shoulders up and back. Inhale as you come up and down. You can close your eyes down gently or just gaze down toward the floor. You can do this movement any time of day, anywhere. Let's do one more. Okay, and back to center. We're gonna go the opposite way. Keep going, let's do two more. Make sure a deep breath, spine is straight. Shoulders are up and back. Okay, and back to center. Great job, everybody. Okay, so now we're gonna come into a downward dog in a seated position. So this is really good for your lower back when you're sitting in your chair, you wanna stretch out the back of your legs. So Allison's gonna do, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do it as well for a moment, and then I'm gonna show you another variation. So on the edge of your chair, make sure you're secure, and you're basically just gonna walk your hands down Okay, toward your feet. It doesn't have to go toward your feet all the way. You can just kind of, wherever your arms will take you, your shins, your knees, even your thighs, if you just wanna lean forward, but you're gonna feel that nice lower back stretch. Shoulders are down and back. So that is a seated variation, and I'm gonna do a standing one. So I'm gonna just turn my chair. If you wanna feel like you need to get up and stretch, you're gonna hold on to the back of your chair. You're gonna step back a little bit and you're just gonna lean forward and you're just gonna drop your head down. So the variations are head can be level with your back or you can go down a little bit farther and feel that stretch in the back of your legs and your lower spine. And just stay here for four breaths wherever you're at, whether you're in your chair, you're at back height or you're all the way down. It's a nice stretch. So just take four big inhales. You'll find it's a little bit more difficult sometimes to breathe because your diaphragm is kind of in the middle here, so you feel like you're, you, you're losing your breath. If that's too much, then just come up a little bit. So just take four big breaths. And again, you can do this stretch anywhere. You can be standing in your living room and grab the back of your couch or your dining room chair. Two more. Last big inhale. And when you come up, just come up very slowly. You don't wanna get dizzy because you're gonna come back into your chair. Great job, Allison. So I'm gonna turn my chair back. Come back to seated. And let's take a couple of breaths here, okay? Let's take our hands out to the side. Inhaling up and down. Let's do one more. Inhale up and down. Great, okay, and for our next movement, we are going to do pigeon pose. Allison's going to do the seated variation, and I'm gonna do the standing, so I'm gonna stand up and explain both versions. Okay, so Allison's going to take her ankle onto her knee. She's going to gently lean forward. One hand is on her knee, one is on her ankle, hinging at the hips and just feeling that nice stretch. I'm going to stand, ankle is going above my knee. I'm gonna hang onto my chair and feel very secure. My other hand's gonna go onto my ankle. My knee is slightly bent. I'm gonna feel it in my hip and I'm just gonna lean forward just a little bit. Looking down and just taking some really big breaths, feeling that nice stretch. Inhaling, four and down. Okay, let's keep going. Allison, how's that feel? Good. 
Awesome. And again, you can do this anywhere, in your dining room, in your kitchen, hanging onto the counter. It's just a nice stretch. Let's do two more big breaths, and then we're gonna switch sides. Two more. Try and keep your spine as straight as you possibly can and your shoulders back. Last one. And down. Okay, and we're gonna switch sides. So same movement, ankle's gonna come over knee. I'm gonna do the same movement standing, holding onto my chair, leaning down, knee is slightly bent, spine is straight, shoulders are up and down. And just breathe, feel that nice stretch. You might feel it a little bit more on one side than the other, but that's okay. It's kind of how we sit in our chair when we're driving. Four big inhales, feeling that in the back. Ribs. Keep going. And you may not have your shoes on either. You may be barefoot sitting at your desk. So whatever works for you. One more big breath in. Awesome job, Allison. Last one. Great job, everybody. So we're gonna come back to seated. Let's take a couple of more big inhales. And these are options for you. If you don't wanna do the inhaling in between the deep breathing, you can just continue with what you're doing but you can do it at any, any speed. So let's just take a couple breaths in and down. Let's do one more in. Great job, up and down. Okay, now we're just gonna bring our legs out in front and we're just gonna do a gentle forward fold in our seat. So making sure you're secure, spine is straight, belly is into your back and you're just gonna take your hands just below your knee and you're gonna hinge at your hips and you're just gonna fold down. So just a very gentle forward fold, giving the back of the legs a nice stretch, stretching out your upper body, your shoulders, and just breathing here. Three more big inhales, you guys got this. If you wanna let out through your mouth, sometimes that's a nice release if you are, are busy on your computer all day. Two more. Last one. Big inhale, let it out. Now bring your hands back up. Great job, okay. And now we're gonna do a gentle neck stretch. So we're gonna take one of our hands just above your ear, very gentle. We're gonna sit really straight and we're just gonna turn our head to the side towards your shoulder and just not, you're not yanking, you're just, gen just a gentle guide for your hand on your head and just feel that stretch. If you wanna close down your eyes here, your other hand you can have on your chair or on your lap and just take some really big breaths, straight, straight spine, shoulders are back, in and out. Just closing down your eyes or just gaze to the floor. How are you feeling, Allison? Good, two more. Last one, and we're gonna switch sides. Okay, slowly bring your head up, and then we're gonna try the other side. So down, and grab your hand just gently, just above your ear, and just a guide, holding your neck to the other side, sitting straight, and just taking four big breaths. You should feel nice and energized, your heart should be pumping. We're just going to slow it down after this with a couple of warm, warm movements. Two more. Last one. Great job. Okay, slowly bring your head up and let's just bring our shoulders up toward our ears and down. Now, if you're more comfortable with your legs out a little bit more in front of you, you can do that too, or you can have them in a seated position, straight up like on a 90 degree angle. So just bring your shoulders up towards your ears. Just give yourself a nice back stretch, shoulder stretch. Bring up and down. Let's do two more. Last one. And let's give our arms a nice stretch. So bring one arm out in front and we're gonna cross it across our chest and we're gonna come up above our elbow and just give yourself a nice gentle arm stretch. If you wanna reach back toward your shoulder, you can do that. It's just a variation, or you can have your arm out to the side. Whatever suits you. 
Have your shoulders nice and tight backwards. A couple more breaths here. Last one. And we're gonna do the other side. Amazing, you guys are doing great. So roll to the other side, arm out. You're gonna bring your arm to the side, give a nice stretch. Let's do three more big breaths. Great job. Last big inhale. And down. And the last thing we're gonna do, we can't forget about our fingers because our fingers are always on our keyboards, our phones. We're gonna bring our, clasp our hands together and then we're gonna flip our palms out toward the sky. And bring your hands all the way up. And just feel that stretch in your, your wrists and your finger. Hold it up. Inhale, take another big stretch, inhale. And then flip your fingers, your palms towards you and then come down. And then we're gonna put our hands together flat, sort of like a prayer position, but our arms are up and we're just gonna stretch. Stretch those fingers, they're on that computer and phones. Just give it a nice stretch. And then we're gonna do just some wrist rolls. We'll go one way and then the other. Great job, everybody. And then the last one is just like a finger flick. So you're just like, just letting the muscles in your fingers just stretch out. Yeah, great job. Keep going. Good job, Allison. It's a nice feeling. You can do this every morning when you wake up too. Just flick your finger, just give them a nice stretch. Okay, and then just shake it out, wind down. All right, so we're just gonna take two more big inhales. Inhaling up and down. Once again, these are optional for you. Up and down. All right, so we are finished. I hope you guys feel great. This is just a nice, quick little stretch you can do when you're on your computer or on your desk or wherever, and just do it in any order you want or follow along on the video. So thank you for joining Allison and I for our stretch today. We'll see you guys soon. Bye. Ability Center's Midday Yoga Desk Movement.